everybody, Anne here, just sitting here in the tiny house having my iced coffee with all of you. It's got a little bit of cocoa in it because I wanted something special. Anyway, it's going to get really hot today. It's going to be a sunny day, going to get my solar charged up. It didn't rain yesterday, and it's not going to rain today, so I'm going to have to go around and water all the plants. I don't know if I'll necessarily take you all with me because, you know, watering plants, I mean really. Anyhow, uh, and i got to go into town today. i got to get some ice and whatnot. But a couple videos ago, I showed you these little solar step lights that had been sent to me. And today, I'm going to talk a little bit about them because you know what? I kind of like them. They were sent to me by a company who wanted to, who, who wanted to see what I thought uh, about it and do a little review. So I'm going to do that today. And I may put a couple on my steps, but to be honest, I'm going to use them inside the tiny house too because I need some more lighting. And... These work great inside the tiny house. So well, let me just show you, show you a little bit about them. I can put them on my windowsill and let them charge that way when the sun is beating down on that part of the tiny house. So that's pretty convenient. I can also put them outside and just set them on my porch and let them charge up. It is free energy. You can't beat that. And here I've put one in my bathroom area, just kind of hung it up like that until I can, you know, get my walls up and whatnot. And it puts off a lot of light. So I was actually very surprised how much light it puts on. So that is the perfect solution for that little area. Again, here's what they look like on the front. And here's the back. If you poke this little thing up, it goes into auto mode. So the light will just come on automatically. And then if you don't want that light to come on, and that's why I like it for inside the tiny house, because I can turn them off. You know, some of the solar lights that you get, you can't do that. They just stay on, um, and you can't turn them off. So, solar deck lights, I charged these up all day yesterday. Um, well, let's say maybe six or seven hours. And I brought a few of them inside and put them in various places and put them in the on or the auto mode. And of course, once it gets down to a certain level of darkness, they will come on automatically. And they lit this place up. They did, and I had them on from the time it got dark, and it really got pretty dark, probably around 8 o'clock. And I was up until past midnight, <laughs> way past my bedtime. I went across the street, Mr. Lucas' son, Seth, um, and his wife's family were there and they were lighting off fireworks. So I took Judy over there and we sat and watched the show for a little while and I got back and couldn't get to sleep. So I was up well past midnight and these were still burning. They were still going. So they hold a charge for a pretty long time. And so I'm going to leave that one in the bathroom area just leave it going all day long and see how long it lasts. And the good thing is, is I don't even need all six to charge, um, to light up this, this tiny house. I really only need two because they're, they're pretty bright. So this, although they're supposed to be for steps, <laughs> I'm going to use them inside for a lighting solution. And all I have to do, see you can hang them up with those little two things back there. All I have to do is take them off of their nails, or sometimes I just sit them right next to me, and they're just like a, a cool little light. Just take them outside, sit them outside in the sun, and they will recharge for me, so this is free lighting. So they're intended for use on steps, but I'm going to use them inside, and you know what? I will probably, I've got six of them, so I'm thinking of keeping three for inside the tiny house, and then I'm going to hang three up around the van somehow in the chicken coop area. So uh, I'm going to put the information on where to find these cool little things down below. And so that maybe you can go get them yourself if you need them. I think they're great. I do. I, I give them a big thumbs up. Anyhow, uh, oh, speaking of the chickens... Oh my gosh, this morning I went out there to, and I was just tired, I was like, oh my gosh, I, I stayed up too late, and I went out and I, I opened up the van door so that I could put the little um, fencing thing in, and they all came rushing out. I kept trying to push them back and catch them and stuff, and eventually I just thought, you know what, Psh, fine, you want a fly, be free, go on out, let's see what you're going to do. 
And you know what? They didn't run away. They stayed right around the, the little chicken yard area. So I just opened up uh, one of the doors and they just went right in. They just went right in. I had food in there. I had water in there. So I think they know where their home is. And I don't think I'm going to have to worry so much. So pretty soon I'm probably going to start letting them free range. There is so much abundance of food, also their food for predators, so I'm just going to have to I'm just going to have to watch them. And you know what? They follow me. They do. When I was walking around the little chicken pen just to open up the little door so that they can get in if they wanted to, they were following me. So, I think that I'm going to be fine with those chickens. Um, I'm still going to feel more comfortable if I can get a chicken yard up and clip their wings at least for now because um, I just don't want them flying away. I don't have like one of those net thingies that you can catch chicken chickens with. So, anyhow, um, well, I'm just going to get my day started. I've just got some menial chores to do. So, I don't know that there's anything else I'm going to share with you today. <laughs> By the way, thank you everyone who showed up. At the live stream that I did, I was so nervous, you guys. I was so nervous. I was afraid nobody was going to come. And then I was afraid that I was going to make a fool of myself, that I didn't know how to do any, anything. Um, but I figured it out, and everybody in chat was great. I had a lot of fun. I had so much fun. So I hope you guys all had fun, too. And I think I might do this. I might do this, I don't know, maybe once a week, if my data holds up. The thing is, um, uh, my Internet is with Cricut. And um, when the, the trees are in full bloom out here, my internet is not all that great. And I only get 23 gigabytes. Oh, God, I haven't even had my coffee yet. I need to, I need to get some coffee in me. Um, I only get 23 gigabytes of data per month. But, I mean, I've got unlimited plan, but that's at top speed. So even their slower speed is still fast enough to watch videos and stuff like that. But once, you know, I get past my 23 gigabytes, and sometimes I've had 120 gigabytes usage in a month. Um, once I get past that, it's kind of hard to live stream because you never know if you're, you know, they say they will, they may slow you down during periods of congestion. So I have to figure out when those periods aren't and maybe go live again. I thought it worked great last, well, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Well, it's actually day before yesterday by the time you see this, anyhow. Um, well, I'm just blabbering on, so I'm going to go get my day started. And, um, again, thank you for showing up the live stream. And thank you, SG LED light people. <laughs> I need to find out where you guys can get these because I like them. I do. I just like them. They're they're cool. They're compact. They charge up, and they're free energy. So, what's not to love about that? Anyway, I gotta go water my plants and do stuff. So, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.